Hey, welcome to Dow Star Talk, where I talk about topics relating to investing in finance, but more specifically, the stock. In this video, I'll be going over this new ETF launch called K pop. But before we get started, make sure you smash the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you know the content and help my videos reach a broader audience. Now, now that people may not be familiar with K-pop, which stands for Korean pop or Korean popular music. So any type of pop music that originated from Korea, they call it K-pop. So if you thought K-pop or the K-pop, uh, the, the entertainment industry as far as Korea would become popular, they created this particular ETF called K-pop and so pretty much there's popular artists that I've looked at some K-pop bands is I believe the most popular one is BTS and Blackpink they have X I actually never heard of any of these 17 Super Junior Red Velvet Stray Kids Big Bang all these ones are K-pop bands that it gives when I listen to them it reminds me a little bit of like R&B between R&B hip-hop and stuff like that dance music and stuff like that that's kind of what it remind me of but let's check out and see what um yahoo finance had to say about this this was pretty interesting guys well in time now for our quick detour of the day we've got blackpink in your area especially if you're keen on trading etfs this is the k-pop ETF, that's right, Contents Technologies, a music rights management company launching this ETF through its asset management subsidiary. The ETF wants to give investors exposure to pop assets that may not be accessible outside of South Korea. That includes Hive, the agency that manages BTS, as well as YG Entertainment, which manages Blackpink, as mentioned earlier, and also Big Bang, kind of a throwback K-pop group. It also tracks movie giants like the media conglomerate that was behind the film Parasite. So. Uh, you can see 3% up intraday, so at least there's that. ETFs, all the rage. I am all for K-pop and catchy music, right? Yeah. But as an investment, how's it doing? Well, I mean, we were talking earlier this morning about ESG, right? I mean, this is the type of thing you don't have to worry about maybe... Uh, you don't, but we did check here. Or... <laughs> a little research on our detour <laughs> yeah. story for the day. Uh, big Hit Entertainment, which is, of course, uh, the company that backed BTS, they weren't one of the big ones no, in no. K-pop. They went public down nearly 60% over the last year, 50% year to date. Is yeah. that a good investment? Well, I mean, it's better than Peloton. So at least, you know, comparatively, <laughs> the bar? Hey, look, everything about the stocks bar? is always what you compare things to. But look, there's a lot of K-pop fans out there. But I think actually, if anything, on a serious note, this speaks to the popularity of just ETFs, right? And yeah. we had ETF guests on. Yeah, and now I would definitely you agree with his last statement ETFs things they're very popular you are probably pretty much going to be able to get an ETF you can pretty much get an ETF for anything AI technology all anything you think about a genre or industry you can probably get an ETF on but I wanted to look at a little bit more information about this um, particular ETF that's K-pop so the expense ratio when I went to this site called ETF.com the expense ratio is 0.75% now I want to let you know this um, ETF is traded on the New York Stock Exchange ticker K <laughs> ticker K P O P. Now the thing about it is what composed of this particular ETF. I did a, a little bit of research and it's 30 um, Korean entertainment companies, primarily in the music industry, but also in the movies as well. So as we can scroll down, we can see that. 70 to 80 percent of the index represent entertainment industry and 20 to 30 percent represents the interactive media now also it's good to notice that it consists of 30 companies by weighted by market cap which means like the total value of the company and each no more than one company can be more than nine percent so 9.85 percent so the cup one individual company will not take up more than 9.85 percent of the uh, fund now it's also good to mention if you also look at VT Vanguard's total world stock ETF which can post of all you know the, the global economy South Korea makes up less than 2% so I'm not really exactly sure about South Korea and where the music industry will go I think I believe they said initially this was for 
global fans who love K-pop that want to participate in investing in the potential growth of the pop industry that's outside of the South Korea because all these particular companies that's invested I mean all these particular companies are Korean companies so they are trading on the Korean exchange so if you're not on the Korean exchange then we know where you can have access to this so hey to each his own I also want to let you know it was 30 companies but I found five they actually listed um let me see yeah they listed some companies that of the 30 which is HYBE SM Entertainment, YG Entertainment, and JYP Entertainment. Yeah, so these were some of the, the companies that I couldn't find the rest. But um, as far as these artists and stuff like that, um, I actually had to literally look up what K-pop stands for. Right here we had Caribbean Pop. But then when you go up here, it says Caribbean Popular Music. Look, it's, it's one of them. Um, and we've seen some of these artists I went through before and if we look at the stock price as of now it's about twenty dollars the by the way this particular ETF just came out September 1st so like I said it's relatively new I thought this would definitely be good to share let me know in the comments below what do you think about investing in k-pop Korean pop music or Korean popular music let me know in the comments below what you think about that if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button if you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel.